Hi, um, my name is Z Manzillo. I'm, I'm auditioning for the part of young Mr. Biggs. And, um, <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, I don't do this very often. But, um, I, I was, I was going to read a part of, uh, I, I got a book here. It's called uh, Game of Thrones. It's uh, by George R. R. Martin. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to read just a little bit of it. Uh, and and I'm, I'm, I'm auditioning for the part of Mr. Biggs. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> when he had... <clears throat> <clears throat> when he had taken his pleasure, Cahal, Cahal Drago, it's, a, it's an interesting name, it, uh, does not quite roll off the palate. But we'll we'll see where this is going. I understand that there are dragons in this book. I I am fond of dragons. So Kahel 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 Drago rose from their sleeping mats to tower above her. His skin shone dark as bronze in the ruddy light from the bread bre Brazier, the faint lines of old scars visible on his broad chest. Ink black hair, loose and unbound, cascaded over his shoulders and down his back, well past his waist. You know that, that Roger, that's not a very good haircut. You should really, you, you need to keep your hair neat, short. That's how. So people know you, 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 when you look good, you feel good. It's something I've always said, Roger. You, you've heard me say this, Roger, right? Yeah. All right. The stallion who mounts the world has no need of iron chairs. You know, Roger, iron chairs, are, they're, they're not very good for your back, Roger. They're, they're not very good for your back. They, they, they affect that whole lower lumbar portion of your back, they, they, they don't, you know, Roger, you, the, the, we went through the whole thing with the chair before, Roger, the, the thing with the chair, you complained about the padding, <clears throat> Danny propped herself, herself, da Danny's a boy's name, it's a boy, Roger, Danny, Kind of a girl named Danny. Yeah. Danny propped herself on an elbow to look up at him. So tall and magnificent. She loved his hair especially. Why, I do not know. Men should have short hair, Roger. It had never been cut again. Kids these days. It was prophesied that the stallion will ride to the ends of the earth, she said. The end, uh, the earth ends at the Black Salt Sea, Drogo answered. Drogo must be one of those, uh, what do you call them, uh, the flat, the flat, the flat planet guys. They, they think the, they think the, they're all cattywampus. They think the, they think the planet is flat, Roger. It's not flat. It's not flat. They've taken pictures of it from space. From space, Roger. Earth is round. Have you never bought a globe, Roger? Have you never bought a globe? Globes are not flat. You cannot eat dinner. You see, plates, plates are flat, Roger. You see, you, you can't eat dinner off of a globe. <laughs> You, you, you hear what I said, Roger? I said, I said you can't eat, you can't eat your dinner off a globe, cause it's not flat. It's not flat, Roger. <laughs> In the free cities, there are ships by the thousand. Danny told him, as she had told him before. Wooden horses with a hundred legs 
that fly across the sea on wings full of wind. And this makes no sense. They, this guy, this, this, uh, George Er Merton, George Merton, he's supposed to be this great author, and he, he, he thinks, he, he thinks, Roger, he thinks, first off, he, he thinks, first off, that you can fit a hundred legs on a horse. I dare you to try it, Roger. There is no amount of glue on this planet, and I know, I know a thing or two about adhesives, Roger. I know a thing or two about adhesives, and I'm telling you right now, there is not a single adhesive on this planet that could stick a hundred legs on a horse. And even if it, even if it did, Roger, even if it did, I think you would find that 100 legs would not help anything to fly. You, you see, Roger, wings are typically the body part that's used when, when a creature wishes to fly. You, you don't see a lot of flying centipedes, Roger. You don't see a lot of flying centipedes. That is because 100 legs makes you good at walking, presumably. I would not know how well a 100-legged horse would walk, especially if you had to glue that many legs on it. Roger, there's no connective tissues there. There's no way it could operate 100 legs. You, th th there's no way whatsoever no adhesive that would make it so that 100 legs attached to a horse could make it walk, much less fly. This book is ridiculous. Where are the dragons? Hmm. Kahal Drago did not want to hear it. I like this guy already. Long hair notwithstanding, Roger. He will speak no more of wooden horses and iron chairs. Very good. He dropped the cloth and began to dress. This day I will go to the grass and hunt, woman wife, he announced as he shrugged into a painted vest and buckled on a wide belt with heavy medallions of silver, gold, and bronze. You know, Roger, that, that's, uh, that's quite an outfit. Wouldn't quite make the dress code of whiz-bangs, now would it? <laughs> no. It's, uh, Whiz bangs, corner Phillips and Mountain, downtown, where the fun never ends and the party's never ending. Yes, my son in stars, Danny said. Drogo would take his blood riders and ride in search of. Ro Roger, what's this word here? What's, what's this? It's uh, H R. You writing this down, Roger? You're writing this down. I need you to Google this, Roger. H-R-A-K, another K, A-R. It's not a name, that's a, it's a sound effect, like if Batman were the Hakalugi. <laughs> You <laughs> hear what I said, Roger? I said, I said, if Batman, if Batman would a hakalugi, it would make that sound effect. It would, it would go across the screen, Roger. You, you're like the old, like the old TV show, Roger. What? I don't care that you don't own a TV, Roger. I did not ask. I did not ask. Not everything is about you, Roger. What, what, what is it? Did, did you look it up? Did you look it up? I'm going to continue reading while you look that up, Roger. In search of a wrecker, the great white lion of the pla Roger, you can stop. You can stop Google searching. I found it right here. It's right. It's right afterwards. It says it is the great white lion of the plains. I, it, why do you need a fancy word for a lion? It's a. It's a lion. It's got a perfectly pronounceable word. Four letters, very efficient. Lion. Don't need this train wreck of consonants. Hmm. If they returned triumphant, her lord husband's joy would be fierce, and he might be willing to hear her out. Hmm. Still no dragons, Roger. This book really goes on, Roger. There's... 
hundreds and hundreds of pages here. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying, you know what, Roger? Just, just, just put Game of Thrones on my Qui. Just, I'll, I'll put it on my Netflix Qui, and I will, I will watch it. I will watch it instead of this um, dense tome of ridiculous words, Roger. It, I swear to God, this is a racket right here, Roger. You could, you just make up. 800 words, you make up 800 pages of words, Roger. You just throw a bunch of consonants in a blend of woof. Off you go, apparently. Fame and success. Handsome looking fellow, though. I mean, look at this guy. There's a, this guy knows how to dress. I cannot believe this guy wrote a male character with hair down to his butt. That, uh, he's a very dashing fellow. Dashing fellow. Whiz bangs, corner of Phillips and Mountain, where the fun never ends and the party's never ending. Whiz bangs. Anyway, I, I hope you like that. That's uh, that was my audition. <laughs> and, uh... and by the way, if you uh, are a fan of podcasts, you should definitely check out Ask Mister Biggs, and uh, also the the new podcast that he's doing uh, is called. Uh, stick it with Mr. Biggs. Stick it with Mr. Biggs. Uh, that would be the jingle. Uh, definitely check it out. They have transitioned over to YouTube, uh, but they also still doing the, the cool podcast thing. They got a Patreon. You can check them out. And uh, if you like what you see here, do hope you choose to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks for watching.